Hi everyone, as we're back to play some Banjo Kazooie. I'm testing some settings today, but anyhow, uh, in today's episode, we plan to entirely do this world one. It's not long, it's a basic world. Three new moves to learn. Oh, yeah, you gotta learn some moves. Oops, I touched the, the microphone while. These are notes. There are in a uh, hundred in each world. There's a Jinjo. If you collect all five, you get a Jiggy. Don't forget those notes when you're swimming. Don't forget how to swim with R. Okay. So yeah, today I basically plan to do all of Ward 1. Shouldn't take me that long. We'll see anyhow. Anyways, we got the gentle bridge there. We're gonna go over there later. Let's start by uh, facing the ball. This is a beehive. I always used to call this a toaster. I don't know why. Anyways, if you destroy it, you got three uh, honeycombs for your health. This Kong is crazy because he, he's got oranges. Although uh, I would understand how a monkey would uh, toss our ranges and keep the bananas for him. But this is strange. Okay, this is a, a jiggy. I got five. I gotta find ten in each world, including Grandital, uh, Grandital's lair, the overworld. You gotta find ten in there too. There's no notes in Gl Grandital's lairs. No, no notes there. So if you climb there, you get an orange. He wants us to give him back, so... I suppose this monkey is really, really stupid. So this guy wants uh, an orange. He likes the the one very orange that I think brought to him. He's gonna raise the platform. Give us another jiggy. We rack him up like it was no thing. Yeah, this world is pretty uh, small, so all the jiggies are packed up in the same area. Those are eggs, they are ammo. Yes. So this is bottles. Oh, there's no notes in this one. There, there's no note told. It's in uh, Banjo Tui, I was mistaken. Okay, so basically you, you hold Z down and shoot forward by pressing C up and shoot backwards by pressing C bottom. Sounds painful. <laughs> so yeah, I can have 10. Exciting. Oh, oh, oh. Nice wordplay by there, by, by balls. So he's gonna give us some eggs. Let's go this way. This is a mumble token. We're gonna find a mumble later. We need them for mumble's magic. Okay. So this is important to uh, pound. Should have started by the upper regions, but whatever. This is important to pound for it creates a jiggy or something in the overworld. So this is the fight against Kanga. He's gonna shoot some orange. Yep. And I got knocked out down there. So you gotta avoid them and hit him three times like a standard boss. In a row though. Ah oh, no, okay. Never mind. I forgot everything about this game. <laughs> He's gonna give us another jiggy. Fortunately. Let's go take it. This brings us up to three. Yay. Okay, so gotta climb a mountain to find new moves. If things are slippy, I will need to find him to climb slopes. <laughs> so yeah, as I told the last episode, I can't climb them, but with Kazooie I will. 
be able to. These are the pathways to get to the special move. There's a jiggy there, but first the move. Whee! The talent trap. Okay, basically you crouch. You crouch and see. Uh, left. Yeah. I wasn't sure about that one. <laughs> And also, bottles fills your energy when you encounter him for the first time. Okay, so, yeah, this is a Jiggy. Brings us up to four. If we look carefully, there's some eggs there. And now if you go up there, there's some notes. You wanna get them. If you look down, you saw a mumble token. Don't forget to get this one, or you won't be able to get all the Jiggies if you don't get it. Okay, that gives us two. While we're there, let's go in the cavern. Can't do anything there yet, but we have to get the mumbo token that's there. Right there. So since uh, Kazooie walks faster than Banjo, I'm always using it. Or at least she's a woman. Okay, so let's get up there. Oh, didn't have learn the move yet. Big Buster, blah blah blah. You jump and you press Z. That's a a ground pound. Nothing more I need to learn in this world, yay! I'm a no-brainer. There's a mambo token there, we gotta get it. Okay. Let's crush them huts. Let's cause vandalism everywhere. There's a monster there, don't worry about this. Jinjo there, you should worry about this. See there. Enough notes to break the first door. Though it doesn't matter because we're gonna get them the hundred. So I gotta go. We'll continue this next time. See ya, right good sign up. Okay, I'm just back. Play this. Okay, so this guy is a totem pole. I need to feed him an egg. There. So I shoot eggs by see uh, upping it up while crouching. Need to get on top of him there, but I forgot for some reason. Ah, that's depressing. Anyways, yeah. I see, see what I missed? I, I just realized it. Well, I grab this crane and this jiggy. Missed the uh, honeycomb piece up there. I'm gonna show it right now. See, I missed that. I can't reach it otherwise. Then I'm leaving the last juju there and uh, jumping on his head. So I'm gonna come back quickly after the level. Pick it up. Doesn't really matter. Anyhow, let's pick up some notes as we use them. Another Jiggy free. Yeah, those Jiggy are really uh, easy to get in this world because it's not tall, it's not a, a, a big world. Just basically a practice world, just to see what's going on around. You get the notes, you get everything up. You, you, you get everything in a tight time interval. If you, you can easily get this level done in sub 50 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's really not long. Fifth frame there. The, the purple Jinjo. Now I need to get on the other side because I, for some reason, haven't uh, climbed the slope there and get the notes. So I need to get the notes on the slopes there as well. Uh, it's like the the, the slope uh, we previously got. So not that much of a deal. There's also a. Uh, this yellow Jinjo up there that we just saw that I'm gonna get to get a, another piece of Jiggy, like there, you saw the animation. So we're 
already at 9. There's only one missing. Where could it be? Well, if you'd be a game designer, you'd obviously hide it at the top placement of the world. You'd, you, you'd hide something there, I'm sure. You know, when you get at the top, you get something. So I'm, I'm there. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so let's head back down. Oh yeah, I forgot to press the switch. Yeah, I haven't got the ground pound up to that point, so I told uh, I was gonna get back there. What I'm doing right there. Also with a couple failure. I got fell down. So it just basically unlocks a thing in the, the other world. Whether it's Jiggy in that case or some sort of passage that can bring you to a further Jiggy. Depends. Also, this guy always uh, trying to hurt me with oranges. Not a big deal to just keep moving. So we're getting to um, the big skull we saw earlier. That's um, Mambo Spot. Also dodging enemies like it was no thing there. So yeah, let's get in there. Ignoring every piece of enemy that we can encounter. So there we get four notes. Which bring us to 94. Okay, Mambo, Besham and all game. Yeah, you're the only one to? Huh? What shit? Yeah. Okay, we have to find the tokens. I have the amount of tokens that you need for the magic. So basically, you stand on the skull and press B and you'll have a transformation. This one is a termit. So let's transform in the termit right there. So let's find what we can do with the termit. And you can always uh, change back whenever you want, of course. It's free, like you said. Okay, so, Termit can jump but can't attack. So, but it can also uh, hang out to uh, very, very steep slopes. So there we're having a conversation with the target Termit. What year you get those shorts? I want them. <laughs> you won't get them. Mr. Termit? Give me that cool backpack. <laughs> So there are last six notes that makes a hundred in this level. Yay! Also, when you die in the middle of a word, you have to start back to zero notes. Everything is placed back except the jiggies, of course, and the uh, mambo tokens and the uh, honeycomb uh, pieces. There are two per words and you can't get them twice. But the notes, you have to get the hundred in the same run. Or else you'll have to start over. So there would be our 10 Jiggy of this world. It's almost over. I need just to get the two extra honeycombs. Also we had that uh, little uh, jumble. There's an honeycomb piece. Like I said, I'm gonna get the second uh, right after I, I get the Jiggy outside of the world. Because, yeah, I can't reach that Jiggy uh, by other means that this tournament, because the, the, the slope is very stiff. So let's get on the exit pad to get out of this place. Yay! My note score is... 100. Okay, so let's climb that. Slope. Get the jiggy. Boosts up a bit. Those shorts are. Oh, um, I don't know. Try uh, going at. Uh, at a random shop over there or something like that. Okay, so we're back at Banjo. Let's just get them. Uh,
Yeah. Uh, just get them paws up the mountain to uh, get the second. Uh, see the notes are back. Uh, to get the the, the second honeycomb uh, piece that we needed. Well, we don't absolutely need them as it's only extras for help. But it's good to have them, and I will get all of them and for the the hundred percent completion of the game. So there, come on. Okay. So get on top of this one, and there we go. Now let's get the hell out of here. Oops. <laughs> that worked out. Okay, so now with uh, Kazooie's help, we can climb this slope and get to the first note door. This is no door. Blah 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 blah. I have a hundred notes, so I can pass. Open up the jars. Actually, that's funny how that is a reference to Banjo Tooie in itself, or Banjo Tooie reference that uh, nickname. Okay, I know. Yeah, blah blah blah. Basically, if you have the number of notes uh, equal or superior to what's written on the door, you can open the door forever, and that doesn't count as buying the door or something like that. Tom says, oh you have them so go through. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot, I, I like to uh, bow like this. Okay so let's just quickly open the next world, as is right there. That door was easy, you got past or fortunately you're first and last, okay thanks. When you open the world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't remember that. You can remember the jigsaw pieces you've entered on the puzzle. How would that come in handy? Anyways, let's complete that puzzle. Yeah, you do you. That would make it. So yeah, when you uh, go out of the world, well, enemies from that world comes in the other world. So Treasure Truck Cove will be next time. Uh, stay tuned, this is Rock Dead signing out and I'll close it up right there on Grantita's notes. <laughs> See ya everyone. Hope you enjoy. I do.